Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Um, if you guys are hearing all this background noise, it's because today we're kicking off the vlog at Terry's house. If you guys remember who Terry is, Terry is my neighbor. We're doing a dumpling making night. I hope you guys can hear me. A dumpling night. Say hi, Victor. I feel hey. like Victor hasn't been in the vlog for a long time. But anyway, this is the setup. Oh my god, this is so cute. Did you make this already? I did R and D last night. Oh right. wow, I love. Okay guys, this is my sauce. I'm mixing truffle and spicy and all the goods. All right, moment of truth. Mm. Hello guys, welcome to another day. My usual light is not found. Cannot be found. Oh my god, can I speak today? Um, it cannot be found, so good luck to me because I really hope that there's going to be enough light for me to show you guys everything that's going on. Um, I'm going to bring it back up. This is my old light. This is um, pretty much like a construction light, but it's pretty lit. I just, it's very aggressive and it doesn't attach to my phone, which is what I don't love about it. But anyway, today... There are so many events. I'm going with the boys, Hugo and Sergio. You guys have met them before. They are my neighbors and they're also content creators. You should check out their page. We're going to the Bisha Hotel event, then a Amazon event, and then dinner with Puma. So right now, this is the fit situation. Um, oh my God, my apartment is a mess from trying to find an outfit. This is actually gonna be the fit for Puma. I'm gonna wear my Pumas afterwards. I'm actually gonna be showing you what I'm gonna wear for the first event, which is Bisha. This is the first outfit for the Bisha Hotel and I'm gonna wear a jacket over this, obviously. Um, and then these boots as well. These boots I'm obsessed with. They're from Pretty Little Thing and they just look so cool because they're rolled over. But anyway, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's super snowy outside, so I didn't wanna wear these stockings, but, and honestly, they provide absolutely no warmth, but I think it's just the thought that counts. So. So anyway, I'm gonna wear the stockings and then yeah, let's go to the Bisha! Yay! Nice. We're freezing. It is so cold. Thank you. It is so cold in Toronto now. Guys, I have literally vlogged this spot a million times because it's also the entrance to coast. But anyway. Yeah, exactly. nice. Look who else is here. Wave hi to the vlog. Jonathan, wave. Oh my god. Whoa, this is beautiful. Oh my god, this is so nice. Wow. This is so cute. And there's an upstairs. Guys, look at this. King suite. It is so gorgeous. Okay, I have a feeling this bathroom is gonna be stunning. Okay guys, this is too funny. I'm literally in the hotel of, I mean, I'm obviously in a hotel. I'm in the washroom of the Bisha Hotel. There's also no lock on this door, so YOLO, wish me luck. But I'm changing into my sneaker outfit for our next event. So I'm grabbing my Pumas and out of these tall ass boots. But anyway, I actually wanted to pee, but I'm so scared to pee because there's no lock on this door. So anyway, wish me luck. <laughs> Things are like, <gasps> Oh my god, I feel like that scene with, um, you know Mitchell from Modern Family when he's like trying to change out of his Spider-Man suit and like nothing is going right. I literally feel that like that right now. Okay, so all I have to do is put these pants on. Okay, why am I still having the camera on? I'm such a mess. Okay guys, Parlor 712 is going to be introduced next month. This is going to be the new speakeasy. Oh my gosh, wow! This is inside the Bisha Hotel. This is incredible. I love this, wow. 
There's an outdoors? Oh my god. Bye, you girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait. This is so pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is incredible. Hey guys, we have just rushed out of the Beach Hotel. We are going to a Amazon. Is it Prime or just Amazon? I think it's Amazon Video. So Prime? Prime Video. Prime, Prime Video, video. Oh, yes. Same We're thing. It's not. <laughs> fight, fight. I'm just kidding. I love how every single couple I'm with, I'm always doing that chant. I'm like instigating fights left and right. Or not. Anyway. Um, we're going to a Prime Video event. It's gonna be at Clio and then Asher. We're then gonna run, which I can now because I'm wearing running shoes. But then we're going to the Puma dinner. Yay! <laughs> Prime Video! Oh, I love this area of King West. Okay, uh, we're going to the wall. Two or three. We are here at the Kuba event. Oh my gosh, this is stunning! Wow, this is so cool. Okay, guys, just got this Kuba event. I'm gonna change it. Hey guys, I just changed into them. These are so cute. I don't have any sneakers this color. I'm so excited. Before we get started, I'm gonna introduce the chef Brett here, who's actually gonna give you a little bit of an information on the palate cleanser before we start. And then the first course will come out and then we have a bit of a creeper history that we're gonna to talk to you guys about for two minutes and then you guys can feast. Yay. 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 Hello. Welcome to tomorrow. Uh, so we just wanted to start off with kind of like a little palate cleanser after some drinks and perhaps uh, some coconut, lime, and broth to be good. Uh, there's a little bit of black garlic and guayo pepper in it, some cilantro, and some little chili friends. More just like a refreshing, like, like citric palate cleanser. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 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 Starting with the yeah. slow. Beyond unveils a couple new ones in velvet, in leather, and in patent leather as well too. Um, 2017, the cleated creeper was actually introduced, so a little bit more of an exaggerated sole, um, a little bit more tooling to it with an aggressive pleated side to it. Um, and then again, she introduced the creeper with the ankle strap in 2017, uh, just added a little bit more flair and a little bit more of a high fashion lens to it. Going on to 2017 again, <laughs> Uh, we have the Creeper pointy shoe. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Yeah, yeah. It looks so good. guys welcome to another day it is not nighttime by any means it is actually like 5 p.m and i'm just unwell is anyone else unwell i feel like by the time you guys are reading this it's i don't know maybe it's like not the same time period but if you're reading this in the week of november 30th were you guys unwell <laughs> because i i don't know i just feel like this entire week and I think it's like this perpetual vicious cycle that I have where because I genuinely don't feel good and I don't like to go on vlogs when I don't actually like mentally feel well um, because I feel like I'm like lying or whatever, which is why at this point I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna come on the vlog when I'm unwell and just tell you about how unwell I am because this entire week, I have been just lying in bed and I never do this, you guys. I'm not a nap person. Um, I also like never lie in bed if it's not morning or bedtime. Like I would never just crawl into bed. I would always choose if I want to lie down 
to lie down on the couch but this entire week i don't know if it's because the weather is becoming so cold the sun is setting so early i don't know what it is i have just been mentally not okay and just been lying down a lot and just experiencing a lot of fatigue i also don't know if you guys are into astrology um but i am and i know that we're in the mercury retrograde shadow period <laughs> oh my god i am that girl but okay also i would just like to say there's people who are like surface level into astrology then there's people who are like pretty into it and then there's like people who are like actual professional astrologers and know how to read astrology i would say like i'm somewhat in the middle because obviously like if you show me a chart i don't know how to freaking read that i don't understand it, most things but i do like very much believe in these periods or like whatever so if you're watching this and you're gonna make fun of me go ahead i'm not afraid i'm not ashamed of my interests and beliefs okay um in fact i know that this weekend you can call me psychic but actually just call me an astrology believer <laughs> um, i can't even take myself seriously um i know that this weekend i will likely get a very tough conversation from someone and not because i'm starting it at all i just know it's gonna come to me because this is how much i believe in astrology um and my horoscope okay i will update you with that and if it does we are all victims of astrology whether you know it or not like i said i just feel like the vicious cycle is when I feel bad, I don't go on vlogs and then I feel like the vlogs were super incomplete or like not super cohesive because I like explaining what I'm doing before I do it while I'm doing it afterwards. So in the moment, like I feel like I've been pretty checked out this past week. So if that part of the vlogs has not been a vibe, I apologize. Um, I And then I feel bad because I feel like my work is not up to par and then, then it's like this perpetual cycle of like, okay so you're working but you think it sucks and this is kind of why i stayed away from vlogs for so many months before bringing it back on again um but i just need to get out of my head about that and i'm just hoping that you guys still resonate with it regardless or enjoy it at least maybe not resonate because i do some pretty odd things sometimes anyway um so today i actually have to go out like look at my face it is so undone um i have to be out soon and this is my state of being i'm literally in bed don't tell my friend um ali if you're watching this i'll still be there on time i'm going to check out a restaurant it's called selva and after that i think we are actually going to go out and attempt to go out to mrs robinson so me and ali are both um very single girls uh not saying that we're going out to meet guys but i think we just like like gossiping and i just like having single friends because as you guys know i have a lot of taken friends like even last night at the beach show event it was just me like third wheeling all these couples anyway whatever uh so it's just nice to hang out with fellow single people you know and Allie and i actually met at work so um she's we've been through with each other's careers like we've been together through so many companies that she's been part of and it's just super lovely to now have like a personal relationship with her um but i'm excited to show you guys the restaurant oh my god how can i not think of the word restaurant and then the cocktail bar anyway i'm very excited to show you guys the cocktail bar and also the restaurant um yeah that's all i have to say i think i don't even know what i'm wearing yet so Ah, I don't know what to do. Okay guys, oh my God, look at the mess in the back because I was trying to figure out this one outfit. Um, the top is from Dynamite. It's like a sheer mock neck. I love it. This necklace is from Monica Vinader. I'm gonna link everything down below. These pants are from Oakenfort, but I don't think they're new. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to find them. And then this jacket is from Pretty Little Thing and the bag is Caperni. Anyway, I still can't find my flashlight, so I'm really hoping that the lighting is going to be okay at this place again. Okay guys, I am here now. I'm just waiting for Allie and um, it's super cute. I'm actually kind of surprised I've never seen this place in my life. Like it's in a very prominent area that I'm always around, but it's really cute because it has domes here everywhere you can dine outside i think it's also heated very well or you can even dine inside and it looks really cute which i'll show you guys as well oh it's so pretty yay 
the cardamom uh, Cosmo. Oh. Uh, definitely stir it up. And then this is the, um, let's call it the, uh, the, the, <laughs> snow, call it? the oh. snow angel. That's, it just started. That, uh, that seems a little concerning. Did yeah, you, you got it. Wow, look at this. It's jalapeno. And wow, that looks delicious. Okay, guys. <laughs> such a setup. Yeah. I asked her, I found it already on Amazon. Isn't it oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's so helpful, like when you're trying to find I love it. Good idea. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it now. This looks really good. Okay, oh my gosh, look at the platters. This is the chicken, and this is the beef. That looks amazing. Apparently the sauce is really good. We're gonna try this. Cheers! Cheers! Okay, ready? Mm. Okay guys, if you are coming here, you definitely need to get these skewers because it is so good, the way it's grilled. Especially if you're a chicken person, I haven't tried the beef yet, but it is so good. It's unreal. It's not very drying. I don't know if you can see it. So good. And this sauce, this sauce is so good. Mm. It's super cozy. It. It's warm, which is which you'll yes. feel. I saw a girl wearing yeah. a tank top. So it's the idea of like blankets, and then you get into your your box, Ooh. and then hold on, hold on, then in your box. <laughs> Is eager. the games? Is the Bluetooth speaker? You can play your oh, own. Wow. You play your own music, and you know that whole kind of situation. So it's the discovery of when you go in, you're playing cards, you're playing games, yeah. you're playing all those different things. What's right? the capacity? Uh, four. Oh, four. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, nice. Whoa, it's so warm. Nice. Okay guys, we just finished dinner. I even got to bring home a takeout box because we honestly didn't eat that much. We were just so busy catching up and it was so fun. Ali and I realized we basically live the same lives and we're living the same lives because so many similar things have been happening to us and will be happening to us. But anyway, the review is that the food was so good. The chips especially, I don't know what was in the sauce. We actually asked them because it was just that good. The sauce had beans and I think they ground it up with some sort of like pepper in it. Um, but I highly recommend getting the chips for sure. But then also um, the the skewers, like Ali didn't try them because she's actually pescatarian, but the skewers are so good you guys and I feel like the cocktails like honest review the cocktails were okay like they're decent I genuinely do think that the main attraction was the food and the fish tacos were good those were the three main things we tried the jalapeno was actually pretty good too but once again it was like it didn't really make my top just if I had to pick um but I I genuinely loved it I was very surprised I've never been to the restaurant before um and also like it was a very lovely surprise to learn that if you guys are in toronto you guys will know that rendezvous is like a very popular spot in toronto especially in the summer like you can grab drinks or whatever and now they have a winter version they're gonna have like this ice rink thing like coming up soon it's not up yet but super excited to see that also to end off the night basically i wanted to uber home because leaving it was really really cold um but the uber back to my house even though it was only a nine minute drive was over 25 dollars. so i was like it is about the principle okay like i refuse to pay 25 dollars for a nine minute drive so i decided to walk home thankfully it's not actually even that cold um I honestly just think like everything worked out for a reason so now I'm actually on this super lovely walk home and I'm gonna show you some of the lovely places I've walked by especially Nathan Phillips Square if you guys are new to Toronto I highly recommend coming here um, as you guys can see they convert this to an ice rink in the winter time and like I just I love this area it's so pretty um, and it's like right by the mall as well Hello 
guys today I am heading over to Burlington because I am going to visit Kelly's new home she just bought a new home in Burlington if you guys remember Kelly was the girl that we celebrated her birthday at Louis Louis so I'm super excited to check out her home I'm actually sleeping over at her house today so I actually packed an overnight bag it's just crazy because I'm also going to Mississauga and drop something off for Liz and also donate some stuff so I have so so much to carry just to give you guys an idea this is my overnight bag and um, this bag is from Lambert it's like perfect for just the day and also there's like a little suitcase thing should you need to kind of like put your suitcase here um, this is my bathing suit because there's a chance I might not have time to come home and have to go straight to other ship so I'm just like, gonna bring that in case and then this is my gift and housewarming gift to Kelly um, this is stuff that I'm donating this is a gift for Liz's mom because she helps me um, basically like fix my clothes so it's an entire advent calendar for her this is stuff that I have to bring for work so I'm just really overwhelmed right now um, yeah wish me luck to carry all this by myself to my car but before I go I want to show you guys this jacket that I got from Levi's it's so cute if you guys want to see it up close it's like a little bit fuzzy and it's brown you just you know how much I love brown right now um, in this season and I love that this is two-toned you also know how much I love my two-tone stuff um, but anyway yeah so wish me luck and I'll see you guys in Burlington okay guys I'm at Kelly's house I actually was in her new house and then I forgot to vlog it, but it's so nice. We're gonna go back tomorrow and I'll show you guys her place. But in the meantime, oh, do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi. Um, in the meantime, Kelly has made me canned mussels. Is that what Smoked. Okay. Tinned mussels. Smoked tinned mussels. Apparently she's on tin fish talk. Yeah, tin okay. Fish talk. Tin fish talk, which I have never been on, but I'm gonna try it for the first time. This actually looks nervous. delicious. Okay, do you guys see it? It is. And there's Momofuku truffle chili oil on it. That is so fancy. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Momofuku truffle chili oil. Oh my God, I'm gonna take my sweet ass time. Mmm. I really like this. Yeah? Where did you buy this? Look at my stash. <laughs> she has a stash. 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 No, show me here. I'm gonna show the vlog. Stash. Oh my god, where do you get this? Oh, so I went to a store in Toronto called Good the Good Good Cheese. Okay. And they have all of these fancy tins. Oh my god. And they're like from all over the world. Wait, so how did you get onto this part of TikTok? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a Emily, what's her name? Emily F Oh, you know who it was? Is that, is it was that her? It's, um, do you know the Danielle girl on TikTok? Oh, yeah. She started eating tin mussels with chili oil. So I started eating <laughs> tin mussels <laughs> with chili oil. And then I did a deep dive. I did a deep dive. And like, yeah, these are- Are these expensive? Yeah, they're like- <laughs> Okay, I'm that gonna is, lick this plate because like that's $16 for a tin. Yeah, like look. Okay, but there are cheaper ones. Sixteen dollars. Twelve. That's still expensive. Yo, guys, sixteen dollars or I'm licking this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> this drop is probably like fifty cents. But it's like it's it's great. It's great. That's my girl dinners. Oh my god. Also, I'm Kelly's been feeding me. She even got me cake. Where's this cake from? I'm That's waiting for it to defrost from a little bit. Prime Seafood. I love it here. <laughs> I'm sleeping over. Good morning, guys. I'm waking up in Kelly's, at Kelly's place in Burlington. This girl is professionally making me some coffee. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so fancy. Like what is even going on over here? Okay, guys, this is the finished product. Look at this fancy as coffee at home. I don't think I've ever had a fancy coffee in a house before. Also everyone, meet Kobe. He's, oh my God, wait, you're so cute. Wait, you're, you love the camera. <laughs> you're obsessed. Are you trying to be a star? You are a star, you're right. 
So he just comes up and he's like leaning against me. I'm giving him like belly rubs. I was like, yo, can I, can I be you in my next life? Okay guys, we are officially leaving Burlington and I'm actually dragging Kelly and Liz to try other ship with me for the first time. If you guys don't know what other ship is, it's pretty much a like sauna ice bath thing in Toronto. I don't know if you guys have it in your cities, but ours is called other ship. There's two locations, one in Yorkville and one on Richmond street. And we're going to be trying the Yorkville location today. So I'm excited to bring you guys with me, but I also don't think I can bring my devices. So I'll probably have to debrief you on it afterwards, but I'm excited. It was my goal to do this before the end of 2023. And it had to be a goal because I'm such a sissy when it comes to cold water. So we'll see how I survive. Okay, hi guys. We're finally home. I'm with Liz. Say hi. Hi. We just finished our first other ship. I know we're eating now. We just finished our first other ship experience. Also the life hack mm -hmm. for Yorkville is you park at Whole Foods and you get free 90 minute parking from Whole Foods if you spend over $25. And this is what I always do. Then I get like a bunch of really delicious, healthy food from Whole Foods. Um, but anyway, feedback on other ship. I couldn't film obviously because people were like, changing they're in their bathing suits I, I think it's just like you're like really vulnerable like i'm not gonna mm -hmm. film um during that time to be respectful but i don't know what are your thoughts about other ship i didn't know what we were getting into <laughs> okay so i feel like such a terrible friend for no starters other ship was nice enough to give us credits so i was like perfect whatever i thought everyone knew what other ship was which is like mm. if you guys don't know what it is it's basically you take an ice bath and then you go to the sauna whatever mm -hmm. so when i kept on saying it i was like do you want to go to other ship whatever i thought liz knew mm. she had no idea she was taking an ice bath i was like that's even more horrifying because <laughs> like <laughs> when i saw it, i was like oh my god oh my god what's happening but i also came in being like i'm open-minded this is a spa like that's all i saw spa i'm like yeah i love a spa day i was on the phone with david i'm like oh i'm so excited for the spa when i heard you telling like kelly that you had a friend saying that you're gonna be fucked and i'm mm. like what what did i sign up for <laughs> okay so when we entered other ship a group of my friends um we just like what we weren't able to make that time they were coming out and then they were just like, they were like, oh my God, is this your first time at this location? And I'm like, well, yes, but it's also my first time ever. And they were just like, like the guy friends were like, oh my God, you're fucked. I'm like, no, cause I, I'm already like so nervous about taking an ice bath. It's like literally my biggest mental goal of 2023. Like I need it and the year's almost over, okay? <laughs> I need it to like, I was like, I have literally like 30 days. And we all know that the week before New Year's is a write-off. Mm. So I'm like, I really only have 20 days. So I'm like, I need to do it now. Um, also because tomorrow I'm getting my tattoo. Uh, tattoo. <laughs> tomorrow I'm getting a tattoo. So after, you know, like the aftercare of a tattoo, you can't like yep. be like submerged yep. in water. So I was like, okay, well, so I literally only have today. So I couldn't even chicken out mm. if I wanted to hit this goal mm -hmm. by the end of 2023. Mm -hmm. It was funny because I was telling Terry, I was like, oh, um, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. He's like, what are you getting? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, but I have 24 hours to like think about it. And he's you like, you don't know? No. He's like, he's like, but a tattoo is not like a chill thing. And I'm like, okay, I guess if you put it that way, but like, I'm mostly, you know, trying to like retouch this tattoo because if you guys don't know the story behind this tattoo, I got this at a free ink box event ink box is a brand that does temporary tattoos mm -hmm. and for their holiday party they hired like permanent tattoo artists so they tattooed my hand at this like dark party so obviously it didn't look good and I, i've been trying to touch it up for like four years <laughs> fun fact you couldn't like come with your own designs obviously because it was an event so you could only pick from the stencils so i wanted like a hollow heart but the only design that they had was like it was like a plant. It was like a heart with like, you know, like the stem. stem. And then I was just like, can you just do the heart and that's it? And they're like, yeah, of course. So I was like, okay, perfect. For some reason, my ex was like, I'll get the stem. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he's like, that way we can have like a matching tattoo. Mm. And then I was like, okay, but like the stem. Um, no, thank not, you. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was also like, 
Um, it's not like I'm getting the flower and you're getting the stem. Like, at least that kind of makes sense, yeah. even though that's still not a combo that people <laughs> get. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I'll get the stem of like a heart. Like, a nobody's heart. gonna know this is like connected. Okay. But also, Wait, spoiler. Yes. Okay. Where? It's right here. It's like literally like right here. And okay, spoiler. Oh. I kind of knew I was like gonna break up with him eventually. <laughs> so I told, I begged him not to get. Yeah, I begged him not oh to get it. I was God. like, it makes no sense. You're getting like a random stem, oh like whatever. I'm like, God. I'm like, why? And he's like, I just really want to match with you. And I'm like, I beg of you, like, no. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Not my problem anymore. Yeah. I'm no. Yeah. That's his problem. Maybe now he can like add a flower or something. Or like, yeah. Maybe his new <laughs> That's oh, even friend. worse. That's so <laughs> like, bad. I don't, like I don't, I don't know, whatever. The oh, point yeah. is I'm here to touch up this tattoo and I was like, while I'm there, why not just get another tattoo? Okay. So I'm taking ideas y'all. Actually, by the time you watch this, it's too late. But yeah. like, <laughs> um, Be in tune. Back to <laughs> the ice Getting mask. Fuck. Oh, I yes. sat there and I'm like, what, what do you mean getting fucked? And then Kelly was so calm. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, so this is like an ice bag cold plunge kind of deal. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. I feel like such a bad friend. I had no, no idea no, you no, didn't no. know. It, it should, it could have been on me. I could have just done my due diligence to search it up. I think maybe it's like my inattentiveness because I like Googled it, I went onto the website because I wanted to know what to bring. Like I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And it just like, it marketed I told a very- you bathing suit. Yeah, it marketed a very spa-like mm -hmm. experience. I'm like, oh, the spa. Okay, I got it. Sauna, got it. I think I stopped at sauna. If you're planning to go to other ship, it's an ice bath, okay? Wait, wait, let's talk about our first experience oh, yeah. doing an ice bath. So um, it was once again, me and Liz's first time. And literally Kelly was such a champ. She like went in and she literally just sat in there and she was good. She was there for two minutes. Mm -hmm. I tried sharing a bath with Kelly the first time. I got in, I did dip my whole body for like one second and then it got really cold. So then I got up and then I dipped like the second half of my body for like maybe a total of 30 seconds. Yeah. You what were, in there what for were a you doing? What were you doing? I got in and I got out. I'm oh, like, <laughs> I looked at the link and was like, I can't do this. I, I'm numb. <laughs> and then I stood there and I watched you and Kelly. And then, but I was standing in the bath too. Yeah, you did well. You no, did not well. The first Kelly time. Kelly did so well. Kelly and did so well. She did so well. And I think watching her being so calm, not mm -hmm. too much verbals, just go in, get mm -hmm. out, be in her zen. I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this, you know? So the second time, me and Liz actually went in. Yeah. Probably. And what made a difference was they have guides there for you. So she calmed us down prior to going in. Like we were literally there. We did a lot of breathing exercises before going in. And then once we got in, we just like went in. Yeah. And we actually going survived. Past. Yeah. Going past. Like don't like slowly, like we literally were like, <laughs> like plopped down. And we don't move. I know. So I think <laughs> you're supposed to like relax. I was not relaxed. I was like, like my legs were like hunched like this. Same. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't move. She's like, I think the guide was trying to, you know, hint to me. She's like, you can relax your shoulders. You can relax your legs. I'm open like, oh, I'm not relaxing heart. anything. I'm now <laughs> open your heart. I'm like, I think if I flinch, I'm going to get out of here. I was like, I didn't even want to think about moving. Me too. I was like, just do what you're doing right now. And like, it's almost over. It's and I was like, moving. I think what helped me the most was like Pilates style breathing. Like she was like, if you guys don't know, Pilates style breathing is like breathing, but when you exhale, you go like, Shh, and then it's like in Pilates, you do it really quickly. But then in the ice bath, she like recommended us do it slowly. But that was for me. What what helped you the most? I think what helped was the location of our ice bath. Oh, so the first time when we did it, we were more exposed to everybody else. Mm. And I was just so stuck. I'm like, oh my God, what is everybody else doing? What am I mm. supposed to do? Like, how am I going to do this? But then the second time we were tucked in a corner mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and less distractions. And actually having you there really helped. Really? And then the guy was like with us the entire time. The guy didn't move. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. Normally they move around, they check them on other people. No, we got all of her attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we were the only two people because maybe we yeah. we gave off the vibes that these oh. girls need help or something. Yeah, because we have these bracelets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Is that what it means? It's for people New who people? Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I didn't even know that! <gasps> I don't think Kelly had one. Oh my god! <gasps> I feel so exposed now. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they gave us, like, I thought they gave a different color based on time slot, so then they know when to kick you out. So I thought Kelly Ooh, had it. Okay. Not me sticking out like a sore thumb, like me waving my hand. Everyone knew I was the first time I was. Wait, I'm pretty sure it was for. <gasps> okay, we'll confirm with Kelly. Uh, <laughs> Do you still have yours? No, I, I I took mine off. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, we got out of the ice bath, and I think we just like felt like we were better than most people. Yes, I like the tingle. Yeah. I like kind of like that sharp daddy, like almost like electrocuting me. Not that I've ever been electrocuted. I know, I was like. <laughs> but I was like, is, is, if this is how like being like. Electrocuted? Yeah, yeah it feels like. <laughs> I'm like, then I can. Yeah, I can. We're survivors. <laughs> oh my God, that's so. Oh, wait, wait, the best part was Kelly trying to give us a pep talk and she was like, she's like, you guys can do it, especially you. She looks at me and I'm like, what do you mean, especially me? What have I done in my life to make you think I can survive this? Then she looks at Liz, she's like, you've survived cancer. Like literally, if you guys have watched the old vlogs, you will know. <laughs> I'm like, oh Liz, you really can do this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I can't, but you for sure can. <laughs> Two minutes in an ice bath? Easy, easy. I'm like, why? Yeah, why are you even complaining? I'm like, <laughs> but then anyway. I don't know. I think when we first did it, it almost felt like worse than cancer pain. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> okay, guys, we got cut off, but basically, we finally tried the ice bath, and we did it twice. So proud of ourselves. The sauna was so needed afterwards because you're actually so cold. Anyway, overall, really great experience. Um, I feel like your body feels really good afterwards and I'm so glad that I finally did this before at the end of 2023. Anyway, in the meantime, right now, I am about to go to my friend's house. We're actually gonna do karaoke tonight. I'm hanging out with my school friends. So if you guys remember from the Alberta vlog, I will link it here. Um, it's those friends basically from school um, because my friend Gavin is back from Austin for the weekend. So we're gonna be going to Dasha for some karaoke. Okay guys, I'm running late as usual, but I'm at least at Stefan Tanuja's place. We're in the elevator. Um, I'm going for a silver vibe today, um, but we're gonna do a little pre and then we're gonna head out. Cheers! Cheers! cheers. All right, yes, cheers guys. Thanks hey, for treating us for your presence, Gavin. Cheers. 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 What are you guys doing over there? Vlogging. Vlogging. Oh, okay. the next morning and I wish I showed you guys how hungover I was because honestly I just couldn't find my camera but I wanted to show you my usual state and my usual food I usually make instant noodles um but anyway I finally found my camera and I'm already out and about so yesterday's karaoke I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like if you watch my vlogs um to kind of figure out what to do in Toronto I didn't know that Dasha had karaoke, okay? Dasha is one of my favorite restaurants in Toronto. It's so good. It's Asian fusion, basically. And it's in just King West, such a great area to be in, especially if you're out on the weekends. Oh my God, I need to eat or take like a lot, like take like a halls or something. My voice is just so bad. Anyway, the karaoke was so fun, you guys. We also went to Early Mercy afterwards. I haven't ever been to Early Mercy, I don't think. So I'm going to show you guys that from my phone footage because I, I think like by towards the end of it, I was just so drunk that I don't even remember vlogging. But anyway, went to bed at three, um, woke up. Now I'm on my way to get a tattoo, mostly to get this touched up as I mentioned earlier um, yesterday, but I might get something else. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm gonna end the vlog here and start it, start the next vlog with the tattoo appointment. So make sure you catch what I end up getting if I get anything. I don't even know right now. Um, in the next vlog, bye. <laughs>